Hey, what's up everybody? What's good? I'm Joe. You're watching Amatsu XO and today we're going to talk Mini Helix, but not just any Mini Helix. I'm talking about the newest Mini Helix. When does it come out? What is this print? And what's changed? Well, stay tuned and let's find out. This is the brand new Hello Kitty and Jujubee collab called Hello Kitty Kimono. It comes out on May 14th, 2020, and this is going to be a limited edition print just like many of the other Hello Kitties in the past. So what's really changed between the Helix from the past and the current upcoming Helix? Well, the biggest thing is the height. Now, a lot of people had complaints that the original Helix had a hard time fitting phones in. So I actually have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I actually have a very small case on it and I can just show you by putting it in here. It barely fits through the top where I can zipper it. Other people who had cases such as like an OtterBox Defender or another thicker case like that could not fully zip up the phone in this bag. Now, with the new bag, you could put a phone in here and still have room to spare. So as phones get, have gotten bigger over the years, such as the Galaxy S20 or the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the screens and the cases are getting larger and bigger, and this should be able to fit it just fine. So for those who may be wondering, well, can a be rich or a be spendy fit in here now? I can tell you right now, previously in the bag, a be spendy or a be rich or be fit, whatever, be spending could not fit in here whatsoever it would stick out like a sore thumb and the new bag it does fit however it's still not enough to where you can zipper the bag closed you can sit in there but it's not sealed and it's you can push and squeeze it to get it as much as you can but unless you're gonna sit here and do that work it's just not it, it's not there it's a good effort, it's a good change, How a welcome change. I would have wished that it could have gone just a little bit longer. So those who are trying to just put the wallet in there, you're better off taking the wallet with the strap on it and just wearing that as a wallet. But if you don't want to carry this, you want to carry other items, the Helix will work just fine. So for the people who are wondering about the front pocket, so again, I have, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I could not fit this, This it sticks out like a sore thumb in this front zipper. As you can see here, it's just sticking out like, hey, what's up, look at me. I can now fit it more into the new Helix, but it's still just not quite long enough to zipper close a phone. If you have an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro, or if you have maybe the new iPhone SE that just came out, that might be able to fit. Um, as far as Galaxy phones, you might be able to find something similar. That's that same length and size, but maybe like the new S20 Max or an iPhone Pro Max, those phones will not fit in this front pocket. Interior of the bag, we still have the same front mesh pocket. So you have a total of four pockets. You have the front with that has a dual mesh and non-mesh pocket. You have the front zipper, and then you also have the interior that has a mesh on the inside as well. Nothing has changed in that regard. You still have the back pull-out pocket, which I think is probably the best place to put your phone because it could just sit in there. So especially if you're walking around with it on the body, you have want to pull it, pull it out for that quick text, selfie, whatever. It's quickly accessible and it's hitting because it's closer to your body versus someone trying to snake it out. Some of the questions I received online about this bag was, does it still have the mesh pocket? Yes, it's still there and there's still the back pocket. The front Is the front zipper bigger than the original? Yes, it is. Now as far as width, let's take a look. So one of the questions they asked was, could a be charged or a coin purse fit in there? So I have my be charged right here and it's full with a lot of cards and money. On this one, it fits in here with room to spare. Like I have almost about an inch and a half of space in there. Will a Capri Sun fit in it? No. 
two. Okay, so in order to show you a good size comparison, I grabbed a couple of different items. I have my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I also have my wife's iPhone 8 Plus with the OtterBox Symmetry case. I also have a Nintendo 3DS XL, a Nintendo Switch case, Link's Awakening, best game, um, a Nintendo Switch as well to show you size comparison, and a Blu-ray because it's the only thing I can find. And if you guys don't watch Harold and Kumar's Christmas on Christmas, for shame. All right, so now let's take a look at what can actually fit. So I have the old um, Mini Helix, my iPhone 8 Plus, so I can show you. It fits in the top barely. Um, again, in the back pocket, it sticks out like a sore thumb. This front pocket, it sticks out like whatever. On the new bag, it would actually it still sticks out, but it goes it does go in deeper. It fits in this pocket just fine, no issues whatsoever. And the back pocket, the screen's perfectly covered. A 3DS for my gamer friends on the go. A 3DS does fit in here. So you might be able to fit in a couple extra games. It won't fit, uh, it barely fits in the back pocket, but you'll lose your stylus. There's no way in hell it's gonna fit in that front pocket. On the newest Helix, oh, with room to spare. Back pocket. All the way in. And front pocket again, don't even try. The switch case on the old bag. You could barely get it in there, but you're not gonna be able to zip that up easily on the newest bag perfect dude i could fit like four game four switch games in here if you carry games in a case as far as the nintendo switch here's your size comparison so for all my parents out there to have a switch here's where the old helix would fit you right up to the kickstand the new helix gets you all the way almost to the Joy-Con. So you actually get, like I said, maybe about that much of a difference. So this is probably your more real to life comparison. Kickstand the Joy-Con. The, Joy the screen, you could actually, uh, you know what? It sounds crazy, but you could actually pop in your Switch perfectly in here and then your joy cons in the front and holy and a couple of games and holy shit guys sorry excuse my language but i just found your portable switch carrying bag what's up that is actually <laughs> i did not plan that but holy hell dude that's awesome. You could totally pop in. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh my God. This is, I seriously did not plan this, but dude, you, okay. You couldn't do this on, on the old Helix at all. Look, you can't zip it up. You can't, like you could try to force it, but dude, 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 that is awesome. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's amazing. I am totally, then you just pop your phone in here, like in your wallet, and then bam. I, dude. Next print that's gender neutral where I could tell, I mean, as much as I want to rock kimono, but I am going to get one of these just so I could carry the switch. So I could like, dude, that is awesome. Blu-ray case. 
surprisingly almost fits, but height wise, you can see where it is as far as, it doesn't fit a Blu-ray case, but you can see height wise compared to the old um, backgrounds. And then just back to back, a small adjustment, but God, that's a welcome adjustment. So someone did ask, could the Mini Helix fit a Capri Sun bag? I don't have a Capri Sun. My kids don't drink Capri Suns. But it's like um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It can fit a couple of special tools that we'll use those for later. And that's going to wrap it up for us today. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to be alerted for more upcoming videos. Leave a comment if you have any additional questions. Otherwise, I'm Joe, you've been watching Mods Excel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.